Veerappan, one of India's most notorious criminals, operated for nearly two decades in the dense forests spanning the states of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala. Known for his poaching of elephants, smuggling of sandalwood, and audacious kidnappings, he was a constant thorn in the side of law enforcement, evading capture with cunning and brutality. Kus Munaswamy Virapan was born in 1952 in Gopinatham, a small village on the Karnataka Tamil Nadu border. Growing up in poverty, he was exposed to poaching and smuggling from a young age, skills he would later use to devastating effect. Virapan committed his first murder at 17. He quickly gained notoriety for his ruthlessness and mastery of the jungle, forming a gang that would become infamous for poaching elephants for ivory and smuggling sandalwood. By the 1980s, Virapan had established himself as the undisputed king of the forest, commanding a loyal band of followers. He was implicated in the deaths of hundreds of elephants and the smuggling of thousands of tons of sandalwood. Virapan's operations were so extensive that they caught the attention of state and central governments. Despite numerous task forces deployed to capture him, his intimate knowledge of the jungle terrain allowed him to remain elusive. One of Virapan's most audacious crimes was the kidnapping of Rajkumar, a beloved Kannada film actor. The abduction sent shockwaves across India, leading to a massive manhunt and extensive media coverage. Rajkumar was held for 108 days before being released, reportedly after a hefty ransom was paid. Murder of police officers and forest officials. Virapan was responsible for the deaths of numerous law enforcement officers and forest officials who tried to capture him. He executed ambushes with precision, using guerrilla tactics learned from years of survival in the jungle. Virapan's criminal activities extended beyond violence. He was a master poacher and smuggler, responsible for the illegal trade of vast quantities of ivory and sandalwood. His operations severely impacted the region's wildlife and economy. The Manhunt After years of failed attempts to capture Virapan, the Tamil Nadu Special Task Force STF, devised Operation Cocoon. This highly secretive mission involved meticulous planning and coordination between multiple state agencies. The STF infiltrated Virapan's network, planting informants and using advanced surveillance techniques. They learned of his movements and habits, setting the stage for a final confrontation. On October 18, 2004, the STF laid a trap for Virapan in the village of Paparapati, Tamil Nadu. They received intelligence that Virapan was traveling in an ambulance disguised as a patient to avoid detection. Virapan and his associates were killed in the encounter, marking the end of his reign of terror. The death of Virapan was met with widespread relief and celebration across India. His demise was seen as a significant victory for law enforcement, though it also raised questions about the use of force and the challenges of policing remote areas.